NFL Week 7 Gambling Picks, brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You need to go over and bet on any of these games, or watch any of these games, whatever you want to do, uh, over at any of their six amazing sports books. you got the Horseshoe, Gold Strike, Samstown, Hollywood Casino, First Jackpot, and the Fitz Casino. We've been to all of them. They're all fantastic. Go put your wagers down. You can also get in a little bit of action if you just want to play for free. Go over to winningcureseverything.com. We got our picks contest up there. It says football picks contest up in the top right corner. Bruce C. from Hartsell, Alabama. He played last week. He went 9-1. and one. He won two nights at Hollywood Casino along with $100 to a prime steakhouse down there. $50 in free slot play. We got different prizes every week. Go check that thing out. Sign up. Last week. We did not have a good week last week. No. Nah. I started out okay. I started out 2-1. and one, And then I lost the last two in the afternoon. Thanks, Rams. 2-3 uh, and three for me. 1-4 and four for you. Overall, I'm 14-15-1 in the NFL. You are 15-13-2. and two. But We're going to change that this week. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling I, – I, I feel this. All right. This week. All right, you let's, got game number let's one? Let's feel it. I got game number one. I'll take it. Go ahead. My Cleveland Browns can Tampa Bucks. They're catching three points. I'll take the three points. I think they got a chance to win the game. I can't tell you that Tampa Bay is better than them. And, um, yeah, if the defense can show up, the offense can run the football – Let's keep a this a little bit, from little bit lower scoring game. Oh, Jameis is going to give the ball away a couple of times. We just can't give it away to them. And uh, I think we can sneak out of Tampa Bay with a W. So All I'll right. take the three. I like that. I like take that. My chances. All right. Game number one for me, 8.30 a.m. on CBS. The Chargers minus seven against the Titans in Wembley Stadium. The Titans lead the NFL in sacks allowed the last three games. Now, a lot of that is because they gave up 11 sacks against the Ravens at home last week. But the Chargers defense will do the same. The Chargers only given up 73 rushing yards average the last three games. That is third in the NFL. The Titans have to be able to run the football in order to score. If they can't run, they can't score. Hence, the last two weeks, zero offensive touchdowns. With no threat of a rushing attack, Titans are not going to score. The Chargers are going to blow them out of the water. Look, here's the deal. When you see a dog, you ride on it, all right? So, we are riding, I am anyway, against the Titans. My number two game, New Orleans Saints going up to Baltimore. Plus two right now. They're catching points. They should be favored in this game. They're the better team at every aspect of it. I know the Ravens play well at home. It's because they ain't play nobody at home. After this week, it ain't going to look like they play well at home. Drew Brees, substantially better quarterback than, than Joey Flacco. Okay? All his receivers, wait, the talent level is not close. The lines this week, by the way, brought to you by Fitz Casino down in Tunica. Go down there, get your bets in. I also have the Saints. Saints plus two at the Ravens Sunday, 3.05 p.m. on Fox, M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. The Saints are 8-0 and against the spread in October the last three seasons. The first month of the season, it's like, all right, let's fill this out. Let's figure out what we got. And then they start rolling midseason. The great coaches do that. Yeah. I mean, because Belichick does the exact same thing. He's a coin flip in September. When well, the, he gets to October. Oh, yeah. It's time to roll. That's it. Uh, the other sign of a good coach, how they play off of a bye. Saints had a bye last right. week. They are 9-1 and one against the spread off of a bye the last 10 years. Yep. New Orleans 8-4-1 against the spread since 2016 as a road dog. The Ravens are 8-11-1 against the spread after a win since 2016. I love all these numbers. The Saints are going to win this game outright. My number three game, New Orleans football. I'm sorry, New Orleans. The New York <laughs> football Giants coming into the Falcons. All right, listen, I know that they've got problems, but there is nothing better for your offense that is struggling than this Atlanta Falcons defense, okay? They're going to get healthy. They're going to feed Odell the ball. They're going to feed everybody else the ball. Saquon can run as much as he'd like. They are going to put up points in droves. This is how this offense is going to get together. Eli is going to look like the Eli of old. No more dumb Eli faces this week. They got a chance to win this game just because everybody's going to play the Falcons close because they're all going to be high scoring, and the Falcons can't stop stop anybody. So if you get the ball last, you got a chance to win the game. I'm catching six and a half points. No, sir. Give me the Giants. I like it. I like it. 
Game number three for me, the Patriots at the Bears. I got the Bears plus four. Now, these lines are the ones that we get them at. Yep. They they obviously will change. Go talk to your attendant. Whatever uh, casino you go to, whatever, just go talk to them. Yeah, figure out what the update line is. We're making these picks on Tuesday evening. Yeah. That's so early. Make sure, you, uh, make sure you go check those lines, okay? But we, I got it at the Bears plus four. Sunday at noon, CBS, Soldier Field in Chicago. The Bears are 8-1-1 one, and one against the spread in their last 10 as a home underdog. The Pats are 1-3 and three against the spread of their last four as a road favorite. Matt Nagy. 2-0 and straight up against the spread uh, against the Pats as an assistant coach with the Chiefs. I think he knows what this team is. I like this defense a lot here. Uh, I think the Bears are going to keep this at least within a field goal, I, I and just, they might win the game. I just want Tom to get out healthy. When you play against a guy like Khalil <laughs> Mack, when you play against one of these elite pass rushers, he's a 41-year-old man. Just get him out healthy. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. Just, right. just get not, him out. This game does not matter. My number five game, give me the Carolina Panthers coming off of a bad loss against the Washington Redskins at Philadelphia plus five. Look, I don't know that this Eagles team is very good. I can't figure them out at all. The Panthers they look good against the Giants, but, the, but the, what does that yeah, mean? Yeah, but that doesn't matter because the Giants are so so bad. Yeah, This Panthers team has kind of become like a yin and yang every other week team. You bet on them. Look, I think the best player on the field – is going to be Cam Newton and and you know McCaffrey. I think that combo is probably the the best combo on on either side of the ball. I'm going to take those guys. I'm going to take the plus five. I think they got a chance to go into Philly and steal one. Even if they don't, they keep it a field goal. All these games have been field goal games at the end of them for the most part. If I get more than a field goal, I'm probably just taking points. I can understand that. Uh, I've got more than a field goal here, and I'm not taking points. I'm giving them up. Texans at the Jags. Jags minus four and a half. Sunday, 12 p.m. CBS, TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville. Look, the Jags at home against everybody but the Titans, they're awesome. Awesome. Jags are 3-0 and against the spread against the Texans the last three meetings. Uh, last year, the Jags won the games outright 45-7 to and 29-7. to I'm talking beatdowns last year. Texans have been gifted three straight wins. Watson does not look like he's right, and against this defense, they are going to be looking to get right after a blowout by the Chiefs and a blowout by the Cowboys. Something wasn't right about that. They're coming home. They're looking all right. The Texans are 0-5 against the spread in their last five games as an underdog and 1-9 and against the spread in their last 10 as an underdog. Uh, I mean, I, there's just no reason why I think the Texans can win this ballgame. You go on. Put your money on Blake Bortles. Just do that, okay? Hey, look, here's the thing. All you Blake Bortles that. has to do is hand the ball off. But he ain't going to do that. He's going to give it to the other team because okay. he's not good at quarterback. Okay. That's that's fine. We'll see. So I talked about all these games being close. Talked about taking all these points. Was this game number five for you? My last game. Last game. I'm taking a lot of points. Give me the 49ers against the Rams. This is scary, okay? You 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 lay points. You take the points against this Rams team. It takes some courage. You got to have some gumption to you. If if you did it last week against the uh, the Broncos, I mean, you won. I didn't so, do it, but that's, I didn't that's do okay. it. I, I'm going to do it this week though. This 49ers team's got life. All right, they're beat up, they're banged up. They play people close. I think they can score on just about everybody. I don't think there's a defense in the league that that Kyle Shanahan can't figure out an offense to put some points up. I'm just hoping they can match points for points with the Rams. Other teams have scored on them. The Rams' offense has kind of slowed down the last couple of weeks. Yeah. They didn't go crazy against Seattle. Seattle's defense isn't great. They didn't go crazy against the Broncos. The Broncos' defense I thought was going to be good before the season started, but everybody scored on them. The Rams didn't. Maybe they're kind of starting to come down to earth a little bit. Ten points in the NFL is just too much. I just need it to be a touchdown game. I feel safe. I feel good. I got a home dog at 10. Give me the 49ers. It's like a little it. scary. I like it. I understand it. Uh, Rams hadn't been covering a whole lot of these big lines. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, game number five for me, my last game, the Cowboys. Plus one and a half at the Redskins. Sunday, 325 p.m. on CBS is at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Cowboys are 5-2 and two against the spread against the Redskins in their last seven games. They've got six straight regular season straight-up wins over the Redskins. Redskins have only covered every other week over the last seven games. That dates back to last year. They covered against the Panthers last week. That means it's time to go against them. I like the Cowboys to win out right here. I, 
I thought I was doing something scary by taking the 49ers against this Rams offense. You were betting on Blake Bortles in a Cowboys offense that hadn't scored against anybody that just blew their wad last week. Now, I know that you go every other week against the Skins, but there's no way I'm taking the Cowboys to do something great two weeks back-to-back. That's crazy. When these both hit. Like, because here's the thing. Everybody thinks the same thing you're thinking. That's right. Everybody NFL thinks the same always thing does goofy crap like this, and, and it's stuff that you don't see. Last week, the Jaguars were favored over the Cowboys, and then the Cowboys come out and just all over. All over. Conor McGregor walking every time they have a big play. What was it, like 15 times? A day? I mean, it was just crazy. I can't figure this Cowboys team out. They're and not, and they're, the Jaguars, they're not good. I, I'm going to keep fading their ass. I lost last week. I'm going to keep fading them. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. All right, here's, uh, here's the rundown. I got the Chargers minus seven against the Titans. I got the Bears plus four at home against the Patriots. I got the Jags minus four and a half at home against the Texans. I got the Saints plus two at the Ravens, and I got the Cowboys plus one and a half at the Redskins. I bet all dogs. I got the Browns plus three at the Bucks. I got the Giants my, plus six and a half uh, against the Falcons at the Falcons. I got the Saints plus two at the Ravens. I got the Panthers plus five at the Eagles, and I've got the 49ers plus ten at home against the Rams. We've given you everything you need to know to be a winner in the NFL this week. NFL Week 7 gambling picks. Go get your action down at Tunica, Mississippi. Any of their six sports books, they are all fantastic. You can find more information on them over at tunicatravel.com. You can get our picks along with our previews and everything else. One, on our YouTube channel, so hit that subscribe button if you're watching right now. Two, over at winningcureseverything.com. You can find our podcast. You can find our football picks contest. Everything you need, winningcureseverything.com, tunicatravel.com. That's going to wrap up the show. Good luck, guys.